Hello again. With continuous improvements around CPU and GPU core counts, there are some pretty amazing workloads we're now able to support from a general computing perspective. These workloads were previously reserved for high-performance computing EDU rigs boasting several clustered nodes working in conjunction to distribute the workload being asked to tackle. Some of the most notable workloads are those that employ artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, and object recognition or detection for decision making. For this proof of concept, I'll be demonstrating an object detection rig fueled by a pre-trained neural network classifier model for image recognition data. Some of the common application targets this could be useful for include people counting or verifying attendance at an event or location of interest. It could also be used to count product from manufacturing yield and quality process detection. Some of the more obvious use cases are around the detection of dangerous objects, such as guns, knives, and other related objects. There are two fundamental ways to run an object detection workload from a processing standpoint. One is using the native CPU cores found on a server or a computing platform being targeted. And the other is to use an offload card, such as a GPU or graphic processing unit. From an available core count standpoint, even taking into account the latest CPU with the max core count at the time of this research, our reference GPU on hand vastly surpasses our CPU with 768 CUDA cores at a clock speed of just over 1.3 GHz. This is a very modest GPU as other more high-performing GPUs are readily available on the market. In any event, I'll go ahead and demonstrate the drastic performance difference we see when our object detection workload is run against the CPU and when it is run against the GPU. For our purposes here, we'll walk through the initial setup and run through a demonstration of the object detection against a few photos and a pre-recorded video. In order to take advantage of our GPU cores, we'll need to install several dependencies that I'll briefly walk through. With the magic of fast forward, we'll breeze through the various steps to get our rig up and running. Let's start with installing Ubuntu 16.04. Next, let's create a directory to house our classifier application and media files. Next, we'll perform all necessary updates to the core OS since this is a fresh install. Since we're planning on leveraging the GPU to offload our recognition detection workload, we'll need to install the CUDA framework along with all the necessary dependencies for the CUDA toolkit to install. Next, we'll move to installing our object recognition detection classifier. To allow our system to view images and video recognition in real time, we'll install OpenCV, which is an open source visual library for viewing photos and videos. Finally, we'll initialize our classifier to use our GPU and OpenCV before compiling it. Once we've got everything set up, we'll simply need to pass our reference image or video into our classifier. As promised, here is what running this workload against a four core Core i5 CPU looks like. As we can see, there's a bit of a struggle to get through each of the frames and there is a very low frame rate per second count. Now here is the same video when applied to our 768 CUDA cores running on our GPU. As we can see, the video is analyzed very smoothly and our frame rate count is much higher when compared to the CPU. Now that we have a relatively stable configuration for object detection, we can start to see how our pre-trained model does. As we can see, the detection process is working relatively well. 
detecting people, cars, snowboards, and other related objects. If we wanted to add additional objects not included in our pre-trained model, we could continue to feed it the necessary objects as initial reference points to seek out during a workload exercise. For now, I'll leave you with the basic understanding of what can be done when we apply a simple object recognition classifier model with a modest CPU. We'll reserve future videos to demonstrate the training steps for a classifier model built and a neural network applied to other interesting use cases. Thanks for your time.